Hi, it's G Man, my world 67. Well, I just got this in uh, from my good friend Gary at Trains in the Basement. And uh, haven't unboxed it yet. As you can see, it's still taped up. And we're going to unbox it, and I'm going to show you. Uh, what I got, and I want to say thank you, Gary. Um, I was when Gary and I was gonna uh, do a deal, and Gary decided um, to give them to me for a late Christmas present, and that's really great. I appreciate that. It's good to have good friends. And we send each other things once in a while. So hold on. While I try to set this camera up. I got everything turned around here at my desk so I don't have a good angle. Don't have my camera stand for my phone up here out at the present time. So here we go. Now I had contacted Gary uh, towards the end of last year, and we had talked about it. But we never got it done. So many things going on in both of our lives. And so I had asked him about it again recently. right after Christmas I believe and he said sure I've still got it and if you still want it you can still get it we made we went back to our original agreement and then he told me he was shipping it to me and here it is Shipping labels. We just clip that one up. Okay. And he put some extra goodies in here for me. I think this is a really insane K line engine that I originally was trying to uh, deal with him on. A 3002. And this is one of my favorite uh, engines that. Uh, K-Line made in the steam. This is one of their first steam engines actually and um, It's made on the uh, 
the order of the oath marks 333. They used the marks 333 modes originally and then modified them to take the new chassis. That's a nice looking engine. The 3002. I know I don't have to do anything to that because Gary's already serviced it. He sent me a note. Let's see what the Not a note, it's just a piece of paper. Okay. We'll do this real quick. This is another number 60 trolley Lionelville and I have another one of these uh, that I need to work on so that'll be another pair of those that I'll have and that's a good thing because I was wanting I don't know where I'm going to put it yet or how but I was wanting to put a uh, trolley line on the layout so We'll get that one cleaned up, get it going, and see what what all it needs. These, I believe, are the uh, American Flyer cars that he told me about. I'm running out of room up here. That's great. We'll take these and find something to do with them. That one's painted white. It's, remember when he got those, that was was already painted when he got it. So the paint was a little rough on it. But we'll probably sand it down and repaint it. Maybe put them back to the original color. Maybe not. Let me go ahead and get these other three out of the box. And I can get this box out of my way. This is some saving time. I'm tearing up everything. Take the scissors, cut that. Here's the tender to the 3002. As I said, I have, I think I've got three uh, 
of these type engines uh, and how many of them do you need well uh, I'll take uh, well I don't need a bunch of them but I'll take as many of them as I could get I just really like these engines I like the, the uh, as I said the marks the original marks ones and I like the history behind K-Line because if you look it up you'll see that K-Line is that <coughs> actually <coughs> is kind of a uh, new remnant of Marks and Line Dot and Hafner, and they developed. Uh, Maury Klein developed his own uh, trains, and but he used uh, the defunct Marks trains to start his basic line, uh, their designs, some of their designs, and a uh, real smart businessman. If I do this right, I can get this out of here. Okay, rushing, so, all right, now, there's the one uh, American Flyer car, passenger car, there is uh, the American Flyer baggage, and there is another passenger car. trolley, the 3002, like I say, we're going to take these and repaint them, see how they come out, see what we can do with them, um, might be able to put them with the, uh, another American Flyer set, I'll look it up and see what, exactly what period those was, um, get this rapid transit going. And, uh, of course, we're going to take this 3002 out, and we're going to add it to the roster immediately. Um, that's all I have for you today. I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, I really appreciate Gary uh, for this. I wasn't expecting all of this. Um... And as you know, he and I both, as most of us, have got tons and tons of trains to repair. It's just nice to have something that maybe all I have to do is just repaint a little bit or put a part on or a piece on, clean it up. Uh, and more special is having it come from a friend. Uh, these I hold on to for the rest of my lifetime. Uh, as I will some other things that some of you other uh, good friends have sent me over the last year. Alright, that's all I had for you today. As always, happy rails until next time. This is G-Man. Bye-bye.